windy. Look at that cloud. Oh, that's rain. Rain. Bastard. I'm going that way. I hate weather. Oh, what a balmy week we've had. What a balmy week we've had. It's been cold. It's been miserable. It's been beautiful sunshine. It's been blue skies. And then it's been wet and rainy and windy again. Absolute balmy week. Balmy, balmy, balmy. But all that aside, I hope you're all doing well and looking after yourself. Uh, apart from a couple of belly videos and that, I ain't put a lot out, have I? I've been a naughty boy. I've not been doing a lot. Um, I've had my bike breakdowns, I've had my car breakdown. I've still got to do a video on my car and Perry's on the walk tongue-in-cheek wonderful customer service they give you at Perry's Milton Keynes great place that is I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to start here Perry's Milton Keynes right a brilliant place to buy a car used car ta uh, used car uh, sales team uh, new car sales team uh, the admin, the finance people, uh, everybody there is absolutely brilliant, top notch. I still don't like looking at that, I'm going that way. And that is rain. No, I don't like rain. I've had enough rain this week, I've got web feet. Anyway, yeah. So the sales and everything associated with them, absolutely spot on brilliant. Absolutely. Can't fault them, absolutely brilliant. And then... Then, then you get the service department where you want to take your car, you might want an MOT, you might want a service or your car may have developed fault, a fault like mine did and everybody is telling me, oh it's got to go back to the main dealer flat, I don't know what that is, blah 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 so you ring them up and you book it in and because they are so busy it takes absolutely uh, I think from trying to book the car in, to actually getting the car in was around about six weeks with this major fault on it as it turned out. So you waited six weeks and uh, would you like a loan car? Yes I'd like a loan car please because you are a little way away from where I live and I don't want to have to um, yeah, walk or get a taxi and I've got things to do that day anyway. So it's booked in, we've got a loan car organised and yeah we've got a loan car organised and they're going to drop the car off in the morning, they're going to plug it in, do their diagnostic thing, whatever it is and, and then um, give us a call, tell us what it's wrong with it and what it needs and um, we'll go back later and hopefully pick up our car or uh, whatever needs doing, needs doing. So yeah, that's the understanding when we picked up the car in the morning. So a young lad in there. Um, dropped the car off. Got the uh, loan car. It was a very nice loan car. I quite liked it. The wife didn't. She thought it was horrible. So we got a loan car and off we trotted. So when we dropped it off, um, what numbers do I call you on? So we give him the two numbers, wife and mine, to call us on. Uh, we've gone and done what we had to do. We waited at home and we've heard nothing all day. No phone call on either of our phones. We're checking them regularly. It gets to late in the afternoon and bearing in mind they shut at like five o'clock or something ridiculous. So it gets late in the afternoon. We decide, right, we'll just go down there and see what's happening because they they've said they wanted the loan car back by five so we popped down hello came here about our car yeah, and he said uh, young lad said oh, did you get my message I rang I rang you so I've looked at the wife I looked at me we looked at our phones never rung us mate I did I rung you on the number we got on the system which isn't our number so God knows where that number's come from oh it needs this this and this doing to it and I couldn't get authorization so we haven't done it right okay so you've rung the wrong number and left a message with somebody we don't know to tell us what's wrong with our car 
and um, because you didn't chase it up or put another call in or even check the paperwork that had the right numbers on it um, yeah our car's not ready it's still sitting there undrivable as it turns out all right okay no worries well now you can go ahead and do that work we'll take the loan car away and we'll come back no you can't have a loan car i need that back right so you're leaving us without a vehicle altogether yeah that's what i'm doing sorry i've got no vehicles so all part of your mistake i've got to suffer customer suffers you know there used to be a saying once that the customer was always right apparently he is as long as he don't go to perry's um, so anyway, the wife went, do you know what, just leave it, we'll walk home, sod it. Which is just as well we could have done without the car. <coughs> so that was that sorted, so when's it going to be fixed? Well we can't get the parts in till next week, so now I'm without the car for a week. Okay, so the parts ain't going to be here for a week now, so I'm a week without a car, and you still can't give me a loan car, rent a car or anything even though mine's undrivable apparently, even though I drove it there or drove it there yep, that's basically what I'm saying okay, well, thanks for that customer service, absolutely awful so oh, and by the way, it's going to cost you this much which the price was over a thousand pound right, okay well, it's going to cost that much to get fixed, it costs that much to get fixed, doesn't it? <coughs> so, I'm now paying you over a thousand pound No, not tosser, I'm paying you over a thousand pound to repair my car and you're not helping me out with any loan car or anything In fact, I was told by the young, um, I want to say salesman, he's not, service department person Oh, there are quite a lot of places you can rent a car from. Hang on a minute, I'm paying you a thousand pounds to fix my car and you want me to go and rent a car for extra money. Yeah, what do you think I am? Rockefeller? Come on, geez! Anyway, long story short, we left the car there which turned out to be well over a week a lot longer than they said um, when they contacted me uh, it was a uh, Friday because my wife refused to sp speak to the man because there'd uh, been a couple of phone calls all week and congratulations to him because he actually rang the right number which was a, a bit of a, a bit of a well done for him yeah so he managed to ring the right number so well done on that and this is when it was going to take longer to do <coughs> and my wife said look I'm fed up with you giving me BS speak to my husband and he said don't swear at me she said I didn't I said BS <coughs> so my wife has uh, refused to deal with him and told him to ring me so which he did so I told you it was going to rain over here didn't I I knew it I can see that rain. Now we're heading towards blue sky. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So when he did ring me to tell me the car was ready, he said, oh, it'll be ready about half 12, 1 o'clock, whenever it's time it was going to be ready. I said, well, I can't come pick it up. I'm in Hemel Hempstead. I'll let the wife know. I don't know what time she's going to get there. <coughs> but she will come pick it up so I did text the wife a quick message the car's fixed and about 10 minutes later I thought oh, I'd better ring her and let her know that um, it's fixed but they're going to valet it, wash it and everything it won't be ready till half 12 well in the time it took me to oh dear going on over there um, in the time in the 10 minutes it took me to message her and then ring her 
uh, she was already at the, at the uh, at the service department to pick the car up um, not happy but there and uh, yeah been left without a car for over a week uh, the work took longer than they said it would <coughs> and uh, yeah and we had no car for all that time and his excuse, well his reason to give you so well I did get you 140, it was 140 pound cheaper than COVID well thanks for that <coughs> it would have been nice to get some customer service but we didn't and to say that, oh I don't know, customer service it, it is very lacking like I say, Perry's Metal Keys, you cannot fault the sales side. I've had three, four cars from there now. Never had an issue. Uh, one particular salesman, Paul, done a fantastic job for us. Looked after me, looked after the wife, gave us excellent service all the way through the deal, trading, organising finance, everything. Absolutely brilliant. Can't fault him. Gold star. When it comes down to the sales and service, to, uh, the service department, I would never take my car back there again. Uh, one is main dealer prices, so you expect it's going to be a bit dearer, isn't it? <coughs> <coughs> you expect it to be dearer, but then to have absolutely no customer service uh, as well I mean, yeah, it's just beggar's belief and I'm not the only person that complained about their uh, customer service or lack of it there's been lots of, uh, go on Google have a look at the reviews and all the complaints come down to sale, uh, service department, not sales look at that raining, balmy weather, now look at it, sunny, sunny, sunny so yeah, all the complaints come down to the uh, service department, so anyway so if you live in the area <coughs> and you want some work doing on your car, your Peugeot or Citroen or whatever it is I suggest you take it somewhere else, don't take it there my suggestion, uh, my opinion, my experience there you go. Well, anyway, other than that, I hope you're all doing well looking at yourself. Hello everybody. I've had a little rant. I've had this on my mind for a while. And I'll be meaning to put this little rant together. <coughs> so, I've finally done it. Oh, slippy windy roads. So I've finally done it and, uh, yeah. There you go. Like I say, I'm not the only person. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not the only person that's uh, had a whinge. Have a look at Google reviews on Perry's Milton Keynes. All the worst ones are all about the service department. Sales department can't fault them. And Paul, if you're still there, I don't know if you are. It's been a couple of years since we got our last car from you, but we've had two from not from you but you as a salesman that uh, did it for us did everything for us thank you really appreciate uh, everything you've done uh, it's just a shame your colleagues in the other department with the spanners are, are a bunch oh, he's probably not the, me the mechanics or the fitters rather they're probably more fitters than mechanics and yeah you're not concentrating on your driving are you love uh, they're probably more fitters than mechanics because some of you would have heard my rant and rave before about you get two types of uh, people that work on vehicles. You get mechanics that actually know what they're doing and then you get fitters that just um, add, pe add bits to vehicles from new so they'll just replace stuff from their fitters. And if it comes to any sort of problem or issue, they don't know. They'll just add another new bit to it, see if that fix it. They really don't know what they're doing so they're fitters. Um, so yeah, there may be fitters and mechanics, fitters or mechanics working in the service department. 
but the people that work in the front of the house service department, the reception there, zero customer uh, service, absolutely awful. Uh, would I know? And my recommendation from personal experience is, I will not be going back there. So there you go. Well, as as usual, um, class, click like and share and subscribe the video. And I'm in second gear. That's better. <coughs> click like, share and subscribe the video. Uh, look out for us on uh, Facebook. Uh, although I've not posted a lot on Facebook just lately. But I will. I promise they've resurfaced all this road. How lovely. Um, yeah, Facebook, Instagram. I'm on Instagram as well. <coughs> Go see if you can find us on Instagram. Give us a follow and also give us a follow on uh, TikTok. Right. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. We're doing well on subs. But we could always do with a few more. So, uh, yeah, and don't forget, if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified when uh, this twat wants to go and talk. Ooh, rubbish. Try and keep it a bit clean. It is an over 18 channel. And you do get me swearing sometimes because I'm a red blooded male and that's what I do at times. Right. So you all take care of yourself, you look after it yourself. And if your car needs repairing, take it somewhere else. Well, he just appeared from the bushes, didn't he? <laughs> Not saying what he was up to. And uh, if you're on two wheels, as I always say, keep it rubber side down, shiny side up. Take care, look after yourself, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care, all the best, bye for now. Bye bye.